Hi, my name is Carl Ricciolo. I'm the director of the Retina Service here at Wills High Institute. And this has been a big day here at Wills because it's the day that a new drug called Jetrea uh, has become commercially available and we performed some of the first treatments. We were involved in the clinical studies and in the development of Jetrea. It's a new unique molecule drug that was FDA approved recently. We've had a favorable experience with the drug and the clinical trial in general and excited now to have it uh, in our hands available for all retina specialists to use for our patients with this condition. So it represents a big step forward in our field uh, to treat what was a surgical problem and it is still for some patients but with the drug we can now treat many of our patients uh, close macular holes or relieve vitreous macular adhesion uh, in patients with these conditions. I'm Alan Ho, I'm the Director of Research at Wills Eye Hospital. Uh, Mid-Atlantic Retina, and today was an exciting day for us here because <clears throat> we were able to treat four patients with a newly approved medicine called Jetria. Jetria is a biologic enzyme that is used for patients with symptomatic vitreomacular adhesion. Essentially, it's where the vitreous gel is pulling on the focus point or the macula and creating anatomical distortion and therefore vision changes. Uh, the procedure is uh, what we've become accustomed to in retina. Uh, it's a small needle injection into the vitreous cavity and <clears throat> the credit here goes to the entire re retina research staff and all the patients and clinical investigators around the world that compiled the data for the phase three pivotal trials. We're excited to be able to introduce this to lead in patient care and cutting edge research here at Wills Eye Hospital and Mid-Atlantic Retina.